This slide compares the differences between the non pre stressing steel and also pre stressing steel. These are the typical stress strength curve of the non pre stressing steel and the pre stressing steel. In general, the non pre stressing steel have a clear limit of the proportional elastic. It is normally initiated with elastic response. There is a sharp yield point, and after the yield point, there will be a significant increase in terms of strength without large increment of distress. This stage is known as the strength hardening which give a non-linear relation between the stress and the strength. The non stressing steel eventually ruptured after significant necking of the cross-section. As for the pre-stressing steel, the U point is not that obvious. You do not see a sharp turning point as per the non pre stressing steel here. However, it is very clear that the tendons appear in the linear elastic at the initial stage. Then, when reached to this U stress, the gradient of the curve reduced gradually and significant strength develop over small increment of stress. The elongation at fracture is about 3.5% to 7%, which is less data than the conventional hot raw non processing steel bar. This table summarizes the differences between the non pre stressing and the pre stressing steel. They behave similarly before yielding, which is elastic, and the development of the stress over strength is linearly proportional. However, the yield point for the non pre stressing steel is easily defined due to the sharp turning point. But the pre stressing steel, the yield point is difficult to define as the turning point is gradual. You will see a non linear response after yielding. However, the response of the pre stressing steel is about proportional. In terms of the ultimate load, the non pre stressing steel is lower than the pre stressing steel.